For practice at 1.17, Farewell Goodbye, we are asked to write a program called Farewell Goodbye that prints the following lyrics. We need to use static methods to show structure and eliminate redundancy in our solution. First, we need to write our class, and our class is going to be a public class that is called Farewell Goodbye. And we will have our starting brace and our closing brace. In here, we need a main method to run this. So we'll have a public static void main with string args having two braces like this. And then in here are two brackets in our main method. Then we'll have our closing braces. And now we can start writing our code. So in our main method, we um, can start looking at this. And we see that we have farewell, goodbye, and that prints multiple times. In fact, um, these, four, these first four lines, or actually these first two lines, are, are printed multiple times. So what we can do is write a method for this, public, void, and then we can call it first. And in here, it's generally good practice to actually name the method in relation to what it's doing. So in here, we'll have system.out.println. And we can copy this so that we don't have to print it out every single time. And then um, we will have farewell, goodbye in here. So we can paste this in here like this. And there is a new line between farewell and goodbye, so we can just do slash n, and that'll put these on separate lines. And then we can close this method, and we're calling it three times. So we'll have first here, and then we are calling first again later, and then we call first one more time later. That's taken care of. This line right here is actually outputted multiple times. So what we can do is make this a method, and we will call it, we'll have it um, public. These should be static methods, so public static void, and then the name, which we'll call like this, we'll have it written like this, parentheses, and then inside of here, we'll have a sysout, and then the string in here, just like this, with its comma. And then we can close this method. So we can call this method in our main program and have it under first like this and then have it under first again here and then under this first as well. And actually, since it's being written under every single first, instead of making its own method, we can um, take this out and put it in our first method, like this. We can combine it with our other system.out, but we'll leave it like that for now. And we can get rid of this method. So we kind of just collapse this method into there. Our next line is good night for the first one. Here is take care, and here is see you later. Since these are all different, we can system.out.print line all of these. So in here we will have good night. And then on our next one we'll have a sys out and it says take care. And lastly we have our sys out that says see you later. Next line it says it's time to go and I'll be out of sight. Basically, all of these are just going to be totally different. So what we can do is actually just write them out in our main method. So first, right here, we can we can write this all in one line. So we have good night. Then we have a new line. We have it's time to go. Slash n for a new line and I'll be out of sight.
and we can write it like this. And that is the first part done. For the second part, we have this on a new line after take care. So we'll have slash n and then a v. Um, and then we will copy this slash n for a new line and then paste it in there. So that looks like that. And then after this, we have farewell, goodbye, au revoir. We are being, we are calling that in our method. And then next, after see you later, we have I hope you think on a new line. So we'll do slash n and write that in like that. You have another new line, so we'll do slash n and this last string. So we can paste that in like this. And this is the code for this output. So if we submit it, um, and we can't find the symbol because I didn't spell it correctly. If we actually just copy and paste this in here, we can actually submit it. And there is a slight difference on the output. And that is, there is a spacing issue between each of these. So I have a space in my program for legibility, but I didn't actually put a space in the output. So instead of writing a space every single time, we can use a method. We'll have a public static void and we'll call it space. And in here, we'll just have a system dot out dot print ln that's empty. And so every time we call it, we will just have a space like this. So we'll call this method here, and then we will call it here. And we should submit it like that. And after we do that, it passes the test.